it's the question that our Dr. Frank McGeorge has been getting most often these days. So people are asking, should I get a second booster shot for COVID? Should you get it now or wait until the new boosters are available in a month or two? Well, it's a fair question. And our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here now with his answer to this question and his reasoning behind it. So let's start out with the current recommendation. Everyone age 50 and older should get a second booster if their first booster was at least four months ago. Now, there are separate guidelines for anyone over 12 who is moderately or severely immunocompromised, and as many as five doses are now suggested in that group. Now, that's the official guidance, and if you have any doubts, you should follow it or talk to your personal physician. The advice I'm giving to friends is slightly more nuanced. First, some facts. Only a little more than half of people in Michigan that are fully vaccinated have received one booster. So for half of the population, a second booster isn't even close. Available data shows that if you are fully vaccinated, you should get at least one booster if it's been more than five months since completing the original series, and I strongly agree. As far as a second booster, currently in Michigan, only one third of people who received a first booster have gone on to get a second booster. Now, the reasons aren't clear, but booster fatigue and perceived risk are probably factors. This is where my practical nature comes in. Data shows if you are a healthy person over 50 who has had one booster, your chances of developing severe disease are minute. On top of that, new booster formulations will be available as early as September that will now cover both the original SARS-CoV-2 virus and the newest Omicron variants. Although cases of BA5 are currently on the rise and a second boost might blunt that case increased, most people, at least two-thirds of those eligible in Michigan, don't want to keep getting shot after shot. My personal opinion is that as soon as the new booster formulation is available, I would get that as my second booster. Now, let me say this again. This is my opinion, not the official recommendation, but it is what I'm advising my family and friends, and it's the strategy that I'm personally using. If you are over 50 and you have any significant risk factors, this does not apply to you, and you should follow the official guidance. Also, if you have any questions, you should talk to your own doctor before making a decision.